Hello guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be looking at yet another hybrid compressed cannon. And this is because I have recently been using the hybrid compressed cannon on my server and I have grown to love it. And I just realized that there are a few things that are wrong with it, or not necessarily wrong with it, but that could be more effective or more efficient. So the there's a very general one that I used way back when and then I made an absolutely tiny one which was good for most situations but it wasn't the most practical for all general purposes. So in this video I have decided to make uh, one that I think can be used in essentially any situation where you'd need to use a hybrid compressed cannon and then has a few bells and whistles of its own. So the main thing that makes this thing stand out from the other hybrid compressed cannons is the fact that it can stack two sand at once which is great because it means if you are using it as a sand stacker and you're only stacking like 10 sand high it means you'll do it in half the time and also because you're stacking to sand, it means you can hybrid anywhere on the wall instead of just where you're aiming at, which means that if there is, if you have to fire slightly lower than you're originally intending to, then you can go ahead and just realign this thing or just fire it at that height and you can go ahead and blow it up. So because of all this, this makes it a great all-around cannon for just, just going through like 5 or 10 walls and just destroying some pretty small bases that don't really have, that aren't really that tall, that go, don't go up that high. So I think this is, in my opinion, just one of the good, one of the great cannons that have been made. So also one other thing is that this thing is only 5 wide and it is really quite short so it's a very compact cannon and it is very, quite resource friendly as it doesn't use the normal comparator clock it just uses a redstone torch burnout but anyway let's have a look at this thing firing so what we have here is the wall and our cannon and a moderately small gap between it this is got to be pretty much just a chunk wide so what we have here is we've got this little area here which is where we're going to be sand stacking on so that's where it's going to start so pretend that's like the bottom of the wall and then we're going to be using this cannon here and the first thing you have to do when you're destroying a wall like this is you have to sand stack it up to the height that you want it so generally that would be the same height as this actual main cannon bit but due to the way, since we have two sand to actually stack, we can we don't need to do it. But anyway, we do want to sand stack it up a little bit. So the first thing we want to do is turn off the hybrid area here. And you don't need to place this lever here as it adds an extra block to the side. But that's just the way that I like to do it. And what this does is, all this does is it turns off the actual hybrid dispensers here that will fire out TNT. Which will be your hybrid TNT because that will stop it from blowing up. So when you're sand stacking, you do not want that on. So anyway, if we go back here and press the button and this fires off down the back here, then the sand should fire out and hopefully sand stack. And as we can see, two, two sand actually stacked on each other, but this thing is moderately variable in how it actually sand stacks, just because of the way how sand stacking mechanics actually work. So there's a good example of how it didn't stack, and that's just because of the way I have the cannon set up now. So. There are a few different ways that you can actually solve this problem and the first one is by having a more TNT or a longer barrel and the reason for that is because the sand is stacking because it is one block higher than the other and since the TNT is pushing them both, pushing this one with more power than this one, it actually can create an arc over longer ranges and when you're going in just even moderate distances you might want a longer barrel as sometimes if the sand fires too far off the left or too far off to the right then it won't stack however this isn't really an issue as it only happens very very slim and you probably won't have this issue that often anyway so anyway let's go ahead and test the hybrid of this thing so if we turn this lever off this will activate the hybrid and we press this button this back tent will fire all the TNT will fire in the main barrel there and then it should fire out here and then blow up this giant area as you can see like so. The TNT actually fired everywhere but what happens is the first TNT hits the ground which stacks it but because the TNT is technically inside the sand it will it doesn't actually stay inside the main sand because it's falling so it lands on top of it 
and then the red sand then lands on top of that and then all your TNT will be inside the red sand. So then that will cause it to be able to hybrid. This is the same way that one shots work because the TNT will land on top of the one shot sand and then your actual red sand that you fire after that will actually cause it to hybrid. So it has the same mechanics that you'd use in bigger cannons. So this allows it to be very, very powerful as, as you can hybrid more than one. So I've go ahead and press the button again. This should hit the same area and actually hybrid once again, as we can see like so. So this essentially just means you can hybrid at any height that you want to, and the only really limiting fact you have is how long it takes for this TNT to actually fall, because if it explodes earlier than the sand lands, then it's not going to blow up. But However, this essentially means you can make giant holes and walls that go from up here down by about 20, 30 blocks, with no issues at all, which is something that not many cannons can do, especially not of this size. So anyway, now that we've done firing it, let's actually have a look at the redstone. And one thing that you're probably wondering is how much range does this have? And it does have about three chunks before it starts to fall off. And what I mean by that is it has a slight arc. So you can fire this up to like 10 chunks, but it will actually arc slightly down so you have to place it like two or three blocks higher than you actually would before and you're going to need a slightly longer barrel so the sand doesn't actually fire too far to the left or to the right. So it does actually have quite a long range and it is very viable at those longer ranges anyway. But anyway now on to the red stone. So now on to the redstone. So there are a few parts to this cannon mostly being the propellant, the hybrid TNT, the sand stacking, or yeah the sand stacking part and then just the barrel so the main part is the actual propellant and this is a compression system hence the name hybrid compressed cannon because it's just a hybrid cannon with a compressor system so what a compression system does is it fires your normal propellant TNT but it has two parts you've got this back bit here and then this main bit here so what this back bit does here is it will fire free TNT into just one small clump and then fire all the rest of your TNT which in this case is 20 along here so what will happen is this will fire off all these 10 dispensers or 20 will fire off one tick after this one and what that means is when it fires off and at the end of it is that these will fire off and then these will fire off. So what will happen is this TNT will fire this TNT will blow up but before that happens this will fire off one tick beforehand which will push all of the TNT all the way up to this block here because ladders stop the prime TNT for moving as it's 0.1 of a block wide and TNT is 0.98 blocks wide so it stops that in its tracks and it pushes all the TNT up here and the reason this is important is the closer the TNT is to your actual entities that are firing being the falling sand entity and the prime TNT it fires it further so it makes it more efficient and more effective for making a cannon like this. This is why you see compression systems and essentially all cannons as it is a lot more efficient to do it that way. So that's the main module and probably one of the most simplest parts of this cannon and this is just a generally a pretty simple cannon anyway. So on the left side what we have is the hybrid TNT mechanism. So all that happens is after that goes off this redstone torch will turn off which will turn off all of these repeaters which will then go ahead and turn on this redstone torch and turn off this redstone which will activate what is called a redstone torch clock or a redstone burnout clock because what happens is the redstone tor torch will turn off and on really fast it'll create a one tick pulse for 10 ticks so it'll either it'll activate the TNT between 5 and 10 times per second because the stone button activates for 10 ticks and a wooden one activates 15 so since it's activating for 10 ticks it can activate between 5 and 10 times in 10 ticks because it's firing every one tick so that essentially means that this can fire up between 10 and 20 TNT that will vary between a second of blowing up after it fires at the wall, which means you essentially get a giant clump of TNT that you can use for hybriding. So on the right side what we have is the actual sand stacking mechanism. And if you didn't know, TNT it takes 40 ticks to actually blow up, so what we need is we need this sand to actually push into the main barrel one tick before this TNT actually explodes, so that way it fires at the highest point and that way it can stay on top of the barrel that it is in, so that way this will fire one block above this one. So what we need is we need then 40 ticks to do that. So we have 10 redstone repeaters here all set to 4 ticks so it activates in 40 ticks. And the reason we need 40 instead of instead of 39 is because this, this repeater here uses 1 tick. So this will act to use it so it will make it fire 1 tick afterwards if that makes any sense at all. And again the reason the sand can fire one one block above it is because 
when the sand in TNT actually fires, the barrel for here, the sand will hit the top of this and then fire straight. While the sand for the one above it, it will hit the top of this and then fire straight. And because it'll stay firing straight, it doesn't matter if it's in mid or in the barrel, it'll still stay at that Y axis. So it'll fire one block above it and then this TNT will stay inside this main sand. Which is very useful because it means, of course, you can stack two sand and it means that you can hybrid at essentially any height, which makes it extremely useful. So the other thing about this cannon is because we have this sand one block higher, or not necessarily one block higher, we normally have the sand actually at this height, because we need to keep the barrel at this height, all we all I had to do was bring down this the slabs by one block, and that's why we have these ladders here instead, because if for some reason the sand doesn't fire off, instead of hitting this and just staying here and then ruining your cannon making it blow up next time you fire it, what will happen is the sand will just fall down onto here and break. So that's that, so anyway now on to the tutorial. So now on to the tutorial, what you're going to need is a 5x12 area as well as some building blocks, some slabs, 25 dispensers, 18 redstone, 16 redstone repeaters, 2 redstone torches, 2 pistons, 4 ladders, a water source block and of course a button, preferably a stone button. So what this represents, this gold bit represents the center of your cannon or where your actual barrel bit is from the propellant to the barrel and how where you're going to be firing all your TNT. And the glass represents places where there are no blocks at all. So if you need the extra space for some reason, then you can use it. However, in this place here, this is where we are going to be placing the button so it doesn't have to go off the edge for some odd reason. So the first thing you want to do is place down your button. I'm going to be placing it here. And the next thing you want to do is fill in these spots with water. You just you don't need to fill in all of these spots with water, but you just want to make sure that there is at least water going along this bottom area here. So the next thing you want to do is going ahead and place redstone on these blocks here and go ahead and place a repeater on each side, both set to one tick delay, and then place redstone on top of each of these dispensers like so. Next thing you want to do is place a redstone torch here and then four blocks along here like so, with redstone repeaters all set to four ticks delay, and then go along to the end here and place a block with a redstone torch on the end and a block on top. So the next thing we're going to be doing is going on to the other side here where we are going to be placing a block and then going all the way along here till we get to the end. That was actually a mistake. So what you want to go ahead and do is place a block down there and go ahead and place 10 redstone repeaters set to 4 ticks delay each because we're going to need a total of 10 redstone repeaters so we can get all the way to the end and place down a redstone block, red, piece of redstone here which what will happen is you have all these 10 repeaters going all the way along here it'll activate this block here and if you don't know this redstone will power this block and when a block is powered it powers all blocks around it so that will go ahead and power this piston and this piston here which will then both push and activate push the sand into the barrel so the final thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and place sand up here as high as you want as it fires two per shot and the next thing you want to do that I'd recommend but you don't have to is place some sort of lever along here so that way you can toggle your actual hybrid TNT and if you want it to be flush inside the actual 5 area then you can either place the 
the lever on top there or along here like so. And the final thing I want to do is go ahead and fill each dispenser with TNT. However, with this very front one at the end here, you're going to want to place 5 to 10 times the amount of TNT that you place in the rest of it, as it will fire 5 to 10 times the amount of TNT as it will be firing all the way out into the wall and it's activated 5 to 10 times per shot while all the yellow dispensers are only activated by one. So now you've gone ahead and made yourself a really fantastic hybrid compressed cannon. So have fun raiding and goodbye from TNT Madness.